Okay, so let's do another ninja drawing just because. Uh, let's do a pencil outline so we can get the general body shape and the position of the arms. And this, is, this guy is kind of bulky for a ninja, but let's see if we can make it work. And he has the reverse hold on his short sword. Mm, so there's the X. So that could work. Now that we have the pencil skeleton, we take a 0 0.6 millimeter Sakura Pigma Sensei pen. And mm, looks like this pen might have seen better days. But let's start. No, that pen is definitely dead. So we're gonna have to switch on the fly to the one millimeter. Yeah, there's a nice bolt line there. Let's do the Zuva or the handle of the sword. Short straight edge. In this case, and there's the wrappings on the sword handle. Let's do the fingers, wrap around the hilt. There goes the thumb, close it up. There's the gauntlet. So that's the arm. Let's do the mask. Okay, that's better. And do the loose kimono. Maybe a little shoulder pad with a phoenix symbol, perhaps. Okay. Here we can give him some chainmail under shirt so he's protected. There's the classic ninja mask. There's one eye, the second eye, and he's from a clan that has fire powers. Remember, we had a phoenix on him. Eyebrows, nose, and kind of a Mortal Kombat mask. This neck, a bit of shadow. Close the chain mail. That's a little belt. And we're gonna pro probably use a bit more chain mail on his arms over here. Another gauntlet on the forearm. A couple of straps. Okay, nice juicy pen. It's actually survived my cartooning weekend. It's the fingers. Okay, so this ninja's coming. Chip, maybe a knee pad. And let's see the bottom of the. There's another leg, a couple of folds, then under knee pad. Uh, maybe he has another sword back here. There you go. Extend that up so it's not so confusing. And let's give him chain mail too on this other arm. It's more rounded that way. So there we go. Looks like a ninja. And he's very well armed. We're going to give him a couple of swords on his back for backup. There we go. Come on, wrappings. So this guy, if he had to, he has four swords at his disposal. And maybe we'll do a couple of ninja stars or churiken that he has strapped to his gauntlet right here. Here, let's add a couple more of the classic four-sided churiken. Um, a couple straps holding him in, in place. And, the, and there we have it, a ninja, and I just dropped my pants. So that took us about three minutes and a half. So let's see if we can give him a little bit of color. So we have this little set handy. And let's see, we have a little yellow ochre. Oops, that filament is coming off. It's not good. But this should give us a nice flesh tone. Yellowy. I don't know if this paper is watercolor friendly, but well, the color seems to be floating a bit, or is this water brush is not helping me. So we we have that. Pick up a few bit more color. And let's do the knuckles over here. Thumb. There's a hand. Well, the skin would be under the channel, so I guess we can do that over here. Skin color here under the chamber again, and this part is probably going to have part of the mask. Now, nah, here, let's, let's do skin color too. Well, I'll make it darker, it's a bit opaque, and then we'll do this arm over here. So, well, the, I guess the hand over here also would be flesh tone. Well, this is more of a 
earth and color. Okay, so that's all the skin parts. Uh, let's wipe this on the other side, and we may have some nice gold yellow accents, which would probably be over. Oh, I don't know, maybe the hilts of the swords could be golden yellow. Not sure I like that, but we can always adjust it once it dries up. Those hills. We'll do the belt also with a bit of that yellow. Here, let's pick up a little bit more orange. Um, yeah, I think the orange helps. So let's pick up more orange over here and modify those previously just. Okay, that works better. Um, we'll do another color for the strap later. Okay, so I like that orangey. Let's do it for the side of the shirt. I'm not sure I like this. This is the. Is that the Sakura? No, not quite. Okay, we have what? Almost six minutes. Let's do the knee, the knee guards over here. And let's pick up a little bit of this grayish, pain gray for the sword. Not gonna work, so we'll leave just the shades. That's an, oh, that's a green olives. Okay, that works. And let's do the straps over here. And then we can pick a little bit blue banding on this other sword. That works. Uh, it's more like C color. Mm, these colors are blending a bit. Oh, I forgot we have the phoenix symbol, but now we already have the blue. I'm gonna go and give him like a purple undertone to his shirt. We'll probably modify that with blues later, but, but I think it was just give us something to work with. So it's bottom part. Uh, oops. Let's see, if we can clean up the thumb. There it goes. I don't know what color we should do the pants. Um, well, why don't we go darker blue on this one? Okay, yeah, well, that works. I think I'm gonna use this blue for the hood as well. There we go. Kind of like Batman. <laughs> 